Welcome. We are Iceman Technical Solution, providing practical solution services for the industry. We are doing laser alignment, on-site dynamic balancing, infrared thermal imaging, vibration testing, ultrasound testing, and all the CBM program services. And we are selling all these tools also. Now we are going to demonstrate uh, how to take vibration, how to find the unbalance, and how to uh, balance the disc. To do this uh, demo, we use uh, this uh, tool. This is uh, this tool for the quick, di quick diagnosis at the site. Uh, from this, we can take the vibration measurement and get a rough idea about the uh, machine condition. Then uh, we take the uh, vibration vibration measurement from this tool this is the uh, deep analysis tool for, for the industry this can uh, this can uh, there is a special software for this we can uh, uh, analyze the uh, vibration measurement by using FFT analysis and uh, this is the very uh, important tool uh, with Iceman Deep this is the ultrasound uh, UV system this used for the slow RPM uh, bearing, monitor the slow RPM uh, bearing condition. So, uh, for the vibration analysis, it's not good for the uh, slow RPM. This only for the uh, high speed bearing. So, to get a good idea about the, any fault occur in the uh, slow RPM bearing, we use ultrasound tool. So, today, this is our uh, demonstration bit. And uh, we arrange the uh, mo motor here and uh, two uh, couplings, two pillow blocks, and uh, connecting with the coupling, the arrangement like this. So, uh, previous session, you uh, take a good idea about the uh, how to do the laser alignment. In Iceman team, we already uh, perfectly aligned the system uh, by. Uh, laser alignment tool and uh, now we are going to do the uh, imbalance to create the, to the imbalance we already already create the imbalance in this list this list demonstrates demonstrate the industrial fan id fan uh, and uh, like this uh, impeller uh, and you can you can uh, take as uh, anything so uh, today uh, we uh, create an imbalance in here to uh, how to get the uh, unbalanced uh, vibration, how to the values of the unbalanced you can uh, see when we are taking the vibration uh, due to the uh, imbalance. So, okay, now we are going to uh, take the vibration. Before uh, taking the vibration, I intend to first we take the vibration in motor and drive in and drive in. After that, the pillow blocks, uh, first pillow blocks and uh, second pillow blocks. Now we are going to take the vibration in uh, this system. Remember, when you are taking vibration, uh, you have to take vibration uh, measurement in full RP, in running condition of the system. This has already has the imbalance. The vibration level will see how the vibration level. First we take the motor and drive it. See the vibration is high, given by the red color. And the drive it side. The vibration is very high due to the imbalance. The color is red. Near to the complete bearing. Look 
we really see the red color of the vibration level. That means the level of the vibration is very high. Okay. Now we uh, finish the taking by initial vibration before correcting the uh, imbalance. the region first. Okay. See the vibration levels of the before uh, balance the uh, disc. This uh, fan non drive end, you can uh, see 14.44 uh, high vibration value. Like this, overall, there is a uh, heavy vibration due, the, due to the imbalance. Now, we are going to uh, we are going to balance the disc. In industry, the FT fan or ID fan, we have we saw there is a number of veins. Uh, sometimes it's 12 or 10. Sometimes it uh, may be 13 or 18. So today, in here, we uh, divided into equal 12 parts. Uh, we divided in rotating rotating direction. You can see the now you can see on display how we divided it into equal 12 parts. Uh, in industry, uh, it's easy to uh, number in the vein numbers. That means uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, like this, uh, equally 12 or 8 or 10. Okay. After that, after divided to equal parts, we, we have to uh, mark the reference point. We put a uh, reference sticker uh, to take the uh, tachometer ready. Okay. The arrange, uh, arrangement is Okay, now we are going to the our balancing module. In a vibration tool, there is a special module called balancing module. That balancing module, we have to feed uh, some details. The machine uh, impeller weight, impeller diameter, and uh, how many angles we divided. That kind of uh, details we have to uh, feed to the vibration tool. So, there is a different kind of uh, Balancing. Uh, today we are we show you the single plane balancing. There is single plane, two plane, uh, three plane like this. There are several kind of balancing. Today we demonstrate only single plane balancing. So in uh, machine module we select the plane single plane balancing and the radius of the uh, disc. Today in the disc uh, 110 millimeters and we divide that into equal 12 parts and measurements uh, sensor position sensor position is uh, zero position and ro this disc rotate uh, uh, in here to here then uh, this is the 90 degree position and 270 position here so today the uh, vibration sensor we put here zero position and the tachometer position also zero position Okay. Now we are going to take the initial vibration reading. To take to take the initial vibration reading, we use vibration sensor and use tachometer to uh, get the reference point. In every time you you may remember we want to take vibration measurement measurement in nearest point of to the 
band for the impeller. Here, if it is in the, the mirror point is here. And we take the vibration measurement in full running condition. This is the free run measurement. We call the free run measurement. take the vibration measurement, we will see what is the value of this uh, vibration amplitude. There, are, there is a very uh, high vibration value due to the imbalance that is uh, 0.656 amplitude. So now we are going to add that trial weight. Trial weight means known weight and known angle. In here we measured uh, this weight uh, for 4 grams and we add to the disc a uh, known angle 8. Uh, this weight want to uh, give wants to give to the our balancing module, balancing tool. So we add the uh, known weight 4 grams and angle is 8. This is guess and we uh, put to the uh, our impeller. This is called trial weight. We add uh, into the eight weight. The one eight. We will see after the adding the trial weight how how is the variation of vibration measurement. After they add in the trial weight, how was the how is the trial uh, vibration vary? Always we want to take the vibration in full RPM, in full running condition. Same as the pre previous one, we put the sensor in here and take the tachometer here. This is this measurement called. Trial weight measurement. Okay, we take the trial weight measurement. See that see the tool this may there is some reduction of the vibration, but this is not the uh, correct weight and correct angle. That given by the next step. You can see the tool is given uh, 3.92 grams, the angle is 7.27. In practically, we can't we cannot add the angle in perfectly because in here we divide it into 12, uh, 12 equal angles and uh, there is the uh, 7 number of 7 there is a hole to add the weight. So in uh, industry sometimes we can uh, add the weight in uh, we can add the weight in correct angle. But here there is the uh, nearest point of the uh, balancing weight we want to add is angle seven. Now the balancing module is the angle and the correct uh, weight of the correct way to balance the this 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 balancing weight called the balancing weight balancing weight means uh, to correct to reduce 
from this to at the uh, to at the balancing weight first we want to remove the trial weight first now we remove the trial weight the gram of this is 4 uh, mg the tool also given the balancing weight is uh, 3.92 it's nearest to the 4 so we at uh, same weight for the uh, different angle followed by the uh, balancing module you see it is for 7.27 uh, that means we can at nearest point uh, point 7 location is 7 we will see after the adding the balancing weight how is the variation of variation value of the vibration ok we fix the balancing weight and uh, we check how was the vibration varying Same as the previous, we take the vibration in nearest point. Tachometer is same as previous. Okay, we take the last measurement. That means uh, balancing weight, balancing measurement. You can see the display, the value is reduced for the 0 0.032. You remember the initial stage reading is 0 0.63 uh, or something. It is very high. After the, doing the balancing, the amplitude of the uh, vibration value is very less. That means the system is already balance so uh, by doing this uh, balancing uh, in on site we can get a good accuracy in practice uh, we uh, we have in a lot of industry a cement or rubber anywhere we uh, we do the balancing by removing the blower and uh, go to the outside and uh, do the balancing and come again and fix it there is a lot of uh, loss from the time, a lot of time uh, wasted and uh, man hours and production loss, there is heavy loss. But in this system, when we doing the balancing in on site, there is a uh, very uh, cost effective, uh, time is saving. And, uh, actually, uh, to, uh, in on site balancing, there may be uh, uh, maximum 2 or 3 hours. It's very uh, cost effective for your industry. So please uh, try to do this in your factory to get a good uh, accuracy and a good comfortability of your production. So uh, I think you get a good idea about how to do the balancing, how to effect uh, when we are running the machine in uh, unbalance. The vibration is very high uh, due to the imbalance, uh, same as the alignment issue. Uh, when we correct the probability that uh, correction, you can get a smooth run. You can clearly get from this demo. So we will check how was the vibration values come after the balancing. We will check. We take the, again we take the vibration uh, triaxial sensor. This is connect, connection from the Bluetooth. The Bluetooth connection with uh, given OK mark from this uh, blue color light. After the running condition, we check how was the vibration value after the balancing. First we take the vibration in motor non drive You can see the vibration display. There is the color is yes, green color. That means in good, good condition. Previously you remember the color is red. Here we take Drive inside. Drive inside also 
green color that means the values are very low previously due to the unbalance the vibration is getting high that means red color and again we take the vibration here here also less value previously value is high and again here you can see the vibration value how much reduce the vibration due to the uh, correct correct the uh, imbalance of the disc so uh, by the imbalance there are a huge defect for the bearing and the coupling and the, uh, for the whole system we we'll see how was the overall value See, the uh, display shows you how was the uh, reduction of balancing value balancing value in initial stage the all uh, readings are it turn into red color but, but after the balancing all uh, colors are in green so that means the system is very smooth run so uh, in the industry we in a practice in the practice uh, we try to we doing the balancing it uh, go, uh, remove the impeller and go to the uh, other workshop and uh, take the balancing in uh, other place and come again and fix it and run the machine but uh, in the production and the cost uh, cost and uh, transportation and uh, production loss and uh, saving uh, manpower loss and there is a heavy loss from uh, the when we are doing the outright balancing from this uh, doing the impeller balancing in uh, on side that is very uh, that uh, very uh, perfect and we uh, will uh, very accurately we can run in on side that is the best way to do the balancing in on side that uh, that's uh, effective for the uh, all cost Uh, that means we we can save the time, we can uh, uh, save the manpower and the production loss and the uh, machine uh, wear and tear and uh, uh, manpower and like this there is a heavy cost saving from uh, the balancing uh, doing in on site. So you can get a good idea how to do the balancing in on site. So uh, I will invite you. you Uh, do apply this technology for your industry and make your uh, company in uh, a good condition and uh, you can uh, run the machine without breakdown and without uh, maintenance so thank you for being with us uh, so this is our end of our demonstration of balancing balancing uh, if you have any requirement in balancing and alignment feel free to contact us Thank you for joining me.